Okay, some mistakes were made. DIY ice cooler air conditioner take two. This is a DIY ice cooler air conditioner that I made in a previous video. I'll link to that video at the end of this video. I started a performance testing video for this unit and I quickly discovered there are three modifications that I absolutely have to make. So today's video, I'll be making these three changes. Modification number one, I'll be installing this acrylic plexiglass to the bottom side of the lid. That's gonna replace this piece of styrofoam. Modification number two, I'm gonna be wiring the pump separate from the fan. So I'm gonna take it off the dimmer switch or the pulse width modulator. Modification number three is I'll be installing this flex form hose. That way I can direct the air anywhere that I want it. The first modification is to install the plexiglass to the bottom of the lid. That's gonna make this a closed system. The air will get pulled in through the vents and across the radiator without ever touching the ice. I'm gonna use my oscillating saw to trim down these vents to allow for more airflow. Cutting these vents should allow more air to flow underneath the plexiglass. To cut my acrylic plexiglass, I made a pattern out of cardboard and I'll just transfer it on. And then to actually cut it, I'll use my oscillating saw. Here's the specs on the plastic that I'm using. It's 0.093 thick and it's called Crystallite. When drilling holes in plexiglass, I step up my holes with smaller bits and I go real slow and let the plastic warm up so it doesn't break. I've drilled three holes in the acrylic, two for the water lines and one for the power line for the pump. Before I attach my acrylic plexiglass to the lid, I'm going to put a layer of this peel and stick sponge tape. Alright, we've got the sponge tape installed all the way around. That'll make a nice seal. Now I'll install my plexiglass. To attach the plexiglass to the lid, I'm using number six stainless steel screws, one inch long, and these finishing washers. Now I'll fish my tubing through and the power cord for the pump. After I get this fully assembled, I'll put some clear silicone around these openings. I'll just hand tighten these. First mod, done. That's got an enclosed system and the air will never touch the ice. Modification number two is to rewire the pump. I'm finding that this pump is super strong and pumps at a rate way too fast. So to correct that, I'm taking it off the dimmer switch and I'm gonna put this in line. This is a voltage reduction transformer. It's gonna take it from 12 volt all the way down to five volt. It's going to reduce our water flow and it's going to conserve electricity. Wiring this little guy in is going to be pretty simple. It's just 12 volts going in, positive and negative, and it's going to send 5 volts out to the pump. That's got the positive and the negative for the out going to the pump and soldered. Now I'm going to shrink wrap them. All that's left to do now is to hook the positive and the negative to the main power supply. There's my voltage reducing transformer. 
wired in line with the pump. I've got 12 volts coming in, and then I've got five volts going out. Now, I'll just mount it to the lid. There it is all mounted. It's pretty clean. Let's check out the pump now. All right, we've got the power on. It's no longer connected to the fan. The fan is independent of the uh, pump now. Fan's off. And our pump is pumping away. Let's see what kind of flow we have. You can see now that the water flow is at a much lower rate. So knocking it down from 12 volts to five volts, a definite improvement. Mod number two, rewiring the water pump, done. My number three mod is to add this flex form hose. This is two and a half inch flex form hose. I wanna be able to control the direction of my airflow coming out of this thing. To do that, I'm gonna be using this adapter. I'll leave affiliate links to all the parts I'm using today in the description below. The adapter that I'm using is a few one hundredths of an inch off to fit inside of this. So I need to modify it. Now I could use some kind of adapter like this, but I really want this to be solid and not have a bunch of connections. So to modify it, I'm gonna take a little bit off of the length and then I'm gonna sand it down. You can see all the material I had to take off of this adapter, and it took a good 10 minutes. But it fits, and it's solid, so I'm pretty happy. Now I'm gonna cut my flex form to length, and I'm gonna use a brand new razor blade. To hold the whole thing together, I'm going to drill some pilot holes and use these little zip screws. Modification number three, flex form hose, done. With this, I can direct air anywhere I want it to go, and it looks really cool. With my three modifications done to my DIY ice cooler air conditioner, I can continue making my testing video. When I'm finished with that video, I'll put it right here. If you wanna watch the video where I made this thing originally, I'll put a link to that video right there. I'm glad you watched, and I hope you'll watch again.